most economic production method depends to some extent on the thickness of the component that you're manufacturing. If we consider a simple component such as a washer, you normally find that for very large volumes you would resort to stamping where you can invest in hard tooling. If you only want to make one or two prototypes then perhaps you might use wire electro discharge machining and in between those extremes there is a battle between photo etching and laser cutting. If we look at a two millimeter thick simple component it becomes less economic to make small quantities by wire electro discharge machining and photochemical machining is pushed out to a certain extent by laser cutting because it takes a long time to etch through a very thick material. Photo etching really excels when you are producing a very complex part. Unlike laser cutting, we etch all the features simultaneously and so the more complex the components, the more the economics favour photo etching as a method of production. The tooling for stamping can be extremely expensive because it may entail making many tool sets. With photo etching, we can etch 20 or 30 tonnes of metal per week and still make very complex parts uh, very economically.